And so stop, okay? Let's review. Search, think, others, and pray. So, so with regards to reflection or philosophical reflections, so meron tayong, uh, we represent our reflections. We represent, nare-represent natin yung ating reflection, okay, with such, okay, with such line. So when we draw a, a vertical line, so patayong guhit, Okay, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang division. We have the left side and the right side. We have the left side and the right side. Okay, so what does it represent? So the left side on the vertical line represents the interior and subjective part of our reflection. Okay, so when we say interior, pang loob is inside us. When we say subjective, kumbaga tayo yun. We are the one who decide it. Diba? Subjective. On the right side naman, we have this exterior and objective. So, when we say exterior, pang labas. So, ito yung ating observation sa, sa labas. This is our reflection on outside exterior part. And it is objective. Okay? So, that is number one. So, with regards to reflection, we have interior, subjective, exterior, objective, left, and right. Okay. So, another one. Ayan. So, when we, another thing na pag tayo nag, nag, gumagawa ng philosophical reflection, we can represent it by writing horizontal line. Horizontal line. So, when we draw a horizontal line, the upper part or the upper space above the line, horizontal line, represent the, the re philosophical reflection which are singular, individual, and only one. So that is um, philosophical reflection, the upper part, and the lower part naman is the, the plural, collective, and many. So those are reflections that are plural, collective, and many. Okay? So, and with that, we will make a quadrant. So we have the cross or the cross line which have four quadrant. Okay? So, now, what's the meaning of this? So, ano yun, Sir Mark? Para maintindihan natin yan, take a look on this. So we create that, we create what are called, Wilbur called the quadrants. According to Wilbur, okay, according to Wilbur, Quadrants are the inside and out, and individual and collective. Okay, I hope that you can see. Okay, so this, so according to Wilbur, so we have inside, we have outside, and we have collective. Okay, this collective, and we have the collective and individual and collective. The lower part, lower part of the the quadrant is collective and the upper part is individual. So, I hope that you realize or I hope that, that you understand this. Okay, the next one. Yeah, so this is an example. So, in our quadrant, a representation of our reflection is here. So, the upper, yeah. Okay. So, the upper one Okay, the upper left is, example is the word I. So, you can, you, we can use the word I. And on the upper right is we can use the word it. On the lower uh, right, left, I'm sorry, lower left, left rather, is we can use we. And on the, 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 on the lower right is we can use it. Okay, so that is for example. And another example is... We can use the term mind, okay? And we can use the term body, culture, and society. So, I hope that you understand these things. So, these are the representations of the quadrants. Let's move on. So, here is the word uh, quadrants, but on the center is the topic. Okay, guys, gagawin nyo to mamaya sa inyong activity after ng video nito, which is subjective. Makita nyo dyan, okay? The topic... Okay, here the topic. Subjective, objective, inter intersubjective, and enterosubjective. So, these are multiple perspectives. 
Okay, so example lang po yan. So, ngayon, this is the actual example. So, this is a, um, kumbaga, ito yung example na, na, na kumbaga, concrete observable, nakikita natin, kumbaga, specific na example. So, here is the quadrant. The topic is about poverty. The issue is the issue of poverty that is happening around us. Okay, and here, okay, on the upper left is the self-pity, it is individual, it is uh, inner, okay? And then this is collective aspiration of better life, diba? Mapapasin nyo, this is individual, this is uh, uh, collective. And this is, okay, malnutrition and inflation. So, makikita nyo di diba? So, ma-observe nyo kung ano yung reflection natin. So, here, may ex for example, sa poverty natin, so, poverty, yan, ang poverty may result sa pity. Kasi pag naghihirap ka, maawa ka sa sarili mo. Diba? But poverty, on the other hand naman, sa panglabas, that is, sa pity is inner. That is, um, 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 subjective. But, poverty, on the right hand, is observable, physical things nakikita, outside, is malnutrition. Okay? So, that reflects to the individual. Itong dalawang to individual to. Nagkakaroon ka ng self-pity dahil sa poverty, magkakaroon ka ng malnutrition dahil sa poverty. But, on the lower part, collective, many, uh, magresulta niya is collective aspiration for better life. So, ito yung pagnanais ng mga tao para magkaroon ng masabuting buhay. So, that is the result of poverty. But also, on the physical outside, and collective is inflation. Nagmamahal ang bilihin. So, that's the result of poverty. So, that is um, philosophical reflection. Okay? So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung philosophical reflection sa Oslo. So, basically, philosophical reflection is mag-reflect tayo sa isang, sa isang issue. And here, the example is poverty. At ang resulta niya ay self-pity. That is individual and inner pang loob. And that is, uh, sa, uh, ito naman ay individual din, uh, pero that is outside, malnutrition, payat, uh, gutom, dahil sa gutom na mamayat, nagkakalus, mag, nagkakaroon ng hindi magandang kalusugan. But on the lower part is collective or plural or marami. At doon sa, sa left side, makita natin dito yung pang sarili, nagkakaroon na inner, pero collective is nagkakaroon ng collective ng samasamang maghangad ng ma magandang buhay. But then the result is, sa kabila naman, sa pang-outside, inflation. Diba, pang-kalahatan yun. Diba, pang-maramihan yun. Na ang outside na pang-epekto is magkaroon ng pagmamahal ng bilihin. So, I hope na naunawaan nyo. And that is philosophical example of philosophical reflection. And I hope na uh, you can ask question pag mayroon kayong di naintindahan sa ating usaping ito. So, maraming salamat sa inyo. I hope God, na kayo natuto. Happy learning. Enjoy your, enjoy your learning. Maraming salamat sa inyo. God bless you all. Mabuhay. See you on the next module. But before that, answer your activities and including the assessment. Magandang, magandang salamat. Oops. Reminder, don't look at the answer key. Wag mong dayain ang sarili mo because you can uh, hindi mo pwedeng dayain ang sarili mo. Hey, maraming salamat sa inyo. Nakikita kang ni Lord. Wag kang tumingin sa alas, wag kang maghanap sa assessment. Wag ka rin pumunta sa online kopyahan. Maraming salamat. God bless you all. Mabuhay.